Problem four. In square A B C E, A F is equal to two F E and C D is equal to two D E. What is the ratio of the area of triangle B F D to the area of square A B C E? Here's what we know from the problem. A F is equal to two F E. So if F E is x, then A F is equal to is is equal to two x. This is a square, so each of these sides would have to be three x. And at the same time, d e would equal to six x, d e would equal to x, and c d would equal to two x as well. How can we find the area of triangle B F D, which is this blue shaded region here? Well, because we don't really have clear. We don't really have the clear base and height of this triangle. We have to use some other way, and we can see that all we have to do to find the area of this triangle is to subtract all these three other regions from the total square. But before we start calculating, um, something you need to learn how to do in solving problems like this is, especially when the exact side length does not matter. We really don't have to use x all the time, because sometimes all we have to do is directly substitute. So I'm gonna call this. I don't know if this is the real word for it, but I'm gonna call this direct ratio substitution. Pretty straightforward. All you have to do is find two values that also satisfy that ratio. Um, that makes your calculation much easier. For example, we can set x as one. That will make two x and three s, three x respectively, two and three. And this doesn't really change the ratio of the sides, right? They're still the same ratio, so we don't have to worry about that. All we have to do now is actually solve for each of the areas. So we know that triangle ABF would be two times three divided by two, which is three. This is also three, and this is one half. We know that the total area is three squared, which is equal to nine. So the area of triangle BFD would be equal to nine minus six and one half, which gives us two and one half. So we have two and one half, or two point five, two nine. So this is the final answer to the problem.